Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing of this. So what is this? Well, I've decided to actually upgrade the to a second Z-axis on the tarantula. So I vexed a little bit about whether do I order the kit or do I simply source the parts myself. At the end of the day, I decided to order the kit. And here it is, and here's what uh, comes in the kit. So what we have here is the lead screw and this was one of the big things I wanted to make sure I got a matching lead screw now uh, I, I believe you could probably just buy this separately I think it's just a standard lead screw but I kind of wanted the, a little bit of the confidence and in part of doing this I decided to go this route because there are many folks out there who maybe have this printer who who are not so deeply mechanically inclined into how 3d printers work and things like that and may want to do this upgrade and this is an easy path for them so I decided to go this route so I could kind of share this and, and again help them out uh, if, if they're interested and even if you're seasoned I'll, I'll talk about this a little bit in a bit I mean it's not a huge savings really sourcing the parts yourself because the other piece I is I wanted to keep the look and feel of the existing tarantula and this allowed me to do that especially with the laser cut parts because I could have even laser cut the parts myself I do have a laser cutter most people don't um, I could have 3d printed the parts um, and you could do that if you have obviously a tarantula however I didn't want the 3d printed part look either so as you kind of seen some of my prior videos where I've designed and uh, some of the other pieces to sturdy it or stiffen it up so what did I get? Well, I got the lead screw. I got the um, uh, uh, anti-backlash, I think I've mentioned already, uh, with the associate, associated nuts. I'll spit that out. Uh, the flexible connector to connect the motor to the rod. Uh, some T-nut adapters to connect all this stuff, as well as the acrylic pieces, laser-cut acrylic pieces to attach the motor and the backlash to the uh, uh, X-axis. Uh, and then obviously some wire and the motor now uh, probably worth noting the motor it is a TiVo motor so it is a matching motor to what I got on the existing z-axis so this was another nice piece because again I believe it's just a standard stepper motor but it's kind of nice to have it matching so that's the one thing you sort of get with this kit is it matches what came on the printer at least my version of the printer so uh, I'm actually pretty happy about that um, so when I looked at doing this, you know, I, I because I could buy the the lead screw and anti backlash, <clears throat> excuse me, for about fourteen bucks. Um, the coupler, I don't know, around six bucks. Um, the motor, probably around fourteen to sixteen with the wire. So, you know, in short, we're we're really talking what about uh, twenty, thirty four the pieces. So, you know, probably they made about $10 on selling this kit or sourcing this as a kit, um, not including whatever the cost of the, the pieces were. So yeah, the cost was about 50-50, and I decided, you know, to get the matching parts, it was worth the extra, say, $10. Bucks. Um, you know, and if you had the parts laying around, that'd be a little different story, because I do have... Uh, a bunch of the lead screw laying around but it's a little bit different so I'd have to swap out the other ones I'd have to change the numbers in the firmware and, and for that little bit of money I it just to me wasn't worth it so I went ahead and, and went with this kit so the primary focus again is sort of the unboxing to show you what you get what you can expect it's a little bit unclear from the eBay ad so uh, it took me it did take me a while it took me about three weeks to get this from China um, and they warned me about that when I ordered it because of the demand for this is so high and I, I can kind of see why because again if, if you're looking to source this yourself and you don't have a whole lot of experience this is the easiest way to go so I'll put a link down below to where I got this from on eBay and then what we're going to do is in the next video uh, we're actually going to assemble this on the uh, tarantula and I'll show you how it uh, kind of fits together and goes together it's actually pretty simplistic because it mounts just like the other z-axis but opposite um, you know the one thing is the, the motor has to turn in the opposite I believe it has to turn in the opposite direction it's been a while since I've built um, a kit like this so uh, but anyways I'll set all that up and, and we'll cover that out in the next video so hopefully this was helpful you found this interesting if you have a tarantula and you're thinking about doing it I would recommend the kit you, you know again might be about 10 bucks more but I think it's 10 bucks less headache and if you figure in, it may, might take you an hour to source the parts, 10 bucks an hour. Yeah, it was easier to go this route. So, hey, if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget the swag shop up there in the corner. Also, if you're not a subscriber, when the subscribe button comes in over here, go ahead, hit it so you're kept updated and you can see all the neat stuff we're doing on a regular basis. And hey, we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.